Um, but Michael Costa, I was, uh, I was mentioning the impossibility of having a reasonable debate about this in particular, but just about any social issue these days, once the Twitter mob gets going. Um, I played you uh, the grab from Anthony Albanese, unbelievably suggesting that the bushfires are a, a result of a lack of policy in Canberra. Here I want to play you something that I think is worse. I'm interested in your view. Labor MP Jed Carney, the former ACTU president, likening Scott Morrison to Hitler's Nazis in the 1930s because of global warming and refusing to withdraw that insult even when Liberal MP Andrew Hastie protested to the acting speaker. Have a listen. On the one hand, Mr Morrison is out in the public arena undermining Australia's commitment to multilateral institutions with his rhetoric about negative globalism. His rhetoric is reminiscent of the right-wing nationalism we're seeing in the US and elsewhere. It takes us back to the 1930s. It would assist the House if the member would withdraw the comment. I don't wish to withdraw the speech. The, I don't wish to withdraw it, Deputy Speaker, yeah, because there's certain, there's certain, um, it is concerning. It is, a, it is something that I am personally concerned about, and I feel the right that I have to say that. Michael Costa, I don't doubt that Jed Carney actually believes that. That makes it even more frightening. We don't seem to be able to have a reasonable debate without now a Labor, prominent Labor figure saying, well, you're really like the Nazis. Yeah, look, Andrew, the first thing to say is the old Goodwin's law here. She's lost the argument by uh, even making that analogy, apart from it being such a disgraceful analogy to make, uh, given the consequences of the Nazi regime. And I, I don't want to go there. I mean, I think everybody understands how inappropriate that was. But the, the point, the, the more important point that I make in terms of these social debates about these particular issues is we're actually arguing religion, aren't we? Uh, we're, uh, yes. you know, this is a, a secular religion. You can't convince these people. Uh, they look for confirmation bias. They look for events that confirm, uh, even though they're not factually accurate. And really, you're not going to have a meaningful discussion. But the bottom line with all of this is they haven't convinced the majority of the Australian pub public. You know, the silent majority continues to vote down this alarmism. And I think you see the same across uh, the world. Um, you know, they would be better off engaging with a sensible debate about actual practical measures like nuclear energy to resolve some Not of these problems, happen. which people, which people like myself and you and others would probably support uh, on the basis of a precautionary principle than this sort of nonsense. That, that is absolutely correct, but it's not going to happen. Uh, the ABC is in full blast. The uh, education uh, mm. dep departments, the, all the schools are in full blast. Uh, it's just a question of time. The Liberals will lose this unless they start arguing properly. Speaking of the Liberals and people who don't argue properly, um, I was staggered by Dave Sharma today, right? He's taken over the seat of Malcolm Turnbull. And I know that he's got green global warmers, you know, breathing down his neck. And yet for him to say, not only that he backed the net zero emissions target, but tweeted this response to a report that Get Up, the left-wing activist group, has spent most of the donations it got on salaries, travel and all that kind of stuff. Sharma actually said, sad, that's the last time I donate to Get Up for a while. Can you explain to me why a Liberal MP is donating to a left-wing group that spent nearly $4 million at the last election trying to defeat the Liberal government? I cannot. What are we going to do about this? Or what are you going to do about this? Uh, what am I going to do about it? Uh, probably not a lot, um, but uh, I would hope that Scott Morrison's office would, uh, okay. and the federal president would point out to him that this was a money, money wasted. Uh, Michael Kroger, 